August 14, 2014. Uh, roll call.
Uh, we try to do a lot in the past to help uh, disadvantaged youth in different areas. I personally, as a coach, have had to do tutorials, even though I live here. Um, usually end up in South Pass or San Marino for lack of uh, sufficient playing pitch. Uh, so I just wanted to express the need for uh, some type of space for these guys. I know this isn't historically known as like a big soccer neighborhood, but there are a lot of people, I'd say on any given night, we have like 35 to 50 youth who need somewhere to play. That's it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Tennis courts way better than I mean 
and they walk away because it's being used. Um, the other thing is uh, on the fence, the liability. Just last week, somebody kicked the ball out, hit one of my cars. Where does the liability fall? On the one person, on the park, uh, on the person who turned the field into a soccer field? They don't think about those things. Um, as far as the auditorium, I heard rumors of it coming down or demolition. I don't know what the plans are for that. Uh, the skate park, it's, it's pretty beat up. I mean, it, even when it was brand new, it was the worst one in the city. Mm -hmm. I've seen some nice skate parks. And, and believe me, I don't prefer one sport over another. I want everybody to have their own place. I just don't want one sport interfering with another sport. This is a large park. Um, larger than most, actually. Uh, if, if the back area can be utilized in some way, retaining walls, cut down some land. I mean, it, it, it could be done. I remember when the pool was an outdoor pool. That was pretty bad. This is nice. Um, which brings me to my next point. It's used 20, uh, 365 a year. And what are the hours? Because this gym is open sometimes till 1, 2 in the morning. And that noise just shoots straight up to across the street. It happens on a regular basis. This gym is open really, really late. And the lights are on really late, past 10 o'clock. So I, I don't know what the hours are as far as recreation. I thought it was 10 p.m. So We have a summer night lights program. Uh, which runs Wednesday through Saturday, and programming ends at 11, and then by the time we lock up, it's 11.30. No, it, it, it's been 12.30, and, and you, the way it sounds right now, I mean, they're doing a full game. Not in the gym. In the gym. And then you should call the cops, because they shouldn't be in here. I mean, somebody's running the park. They're not in here by themselves. That, that's why. We, if, please, call the cops, because whoever's in here shouldn't be in here. If, you, if you're hearing it and you're right across the street and it's not a program hour, then definitely you should call the cops. Because okay. if it is my staff using the gym unauthorized, then they shouldn't be. Other than that, every sport deserves a place. I'm not here to put down soccer or any other. I just don't want it to interfere with other sports that are already here. And that tennis court does get used. I know because I used to use it myself. That's it. Thank you. So your hand is open too? It's open really late. So through the past minute. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I'm a soccer people. <laughs> Pedro? Yeah. Pedro? 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 I really like for a soccer field to be there, and based on, it's pretty bad to be pushing other sports away, like you said, but there's a lot of stuff we can work on it. They could put those fence, those special fence things on the top, but I actually, have, I'm from, I come from St. Terrence Park, and I don't see no soccer over there. The only main sports that actually is right there is baseball and basketball, and that's, yeah, that's it. But as soon as those sports are over, the park's dead. I mean, I, I get to see it right here. I mean, something. And if you can put soccer in it, it would be good for kids because the park will be busy. All of us, when we get to be busy, you, you keep kids out of trouble and all that stuff. So it would be a good sport to be involved, involving right into this park. I mean, you go to other parks right here in this neighborhood, it's like everybody says it's rocks and everything. And even in St. Terrence Park, it's nothing but dirt. You know, I think it would be a good thing to do. That's for all of us. There's a lot of even older people coming to play soccer, even little kids. I think mean, that would be a great idea. I hope it comes through, you know? it comes through. You know? yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.
There's nothing like it, and I would like to see something done here. I know um, Commerce has a really cool gym that you actually do pay a membership on it, and I mean, it's, they have different equipment, which I would love to see something done here. That is you know, close by, it's just across the street, but you know, we never know. So it's something I would like to see more activity session, just not for the kids, but you know, adults. Because it's all about the kids, but not much about the adults. You know, the, the like gym, yeah, you want to come in and maybe um, throw some books, but it's you know, so busy. Um, the skate park itself, uh, there are the kids that use it, but they're very limited on the kids that use it. But, you know, just some people, some kids destroy it. But, and also at the gym, they would really would, even would like to see it tear down and rebuilt and build something that any, everybody can use, you know. Mm-hmm. As a, and I think activities. You know, this, they use this little auditorium or this little for the kids for the, um, the um, camp, summer camp, and that's pretty much what they had when they could build something else bigger over there. Nicer. Maybe two stories. There you go. You know? Yeah. Maybe more parking too. <laughs> yeah, good story. Yeah. There you go. Big, big. Hello. Um, my daughter also plays soccer, so I understand the need for a space. And um, I will, I'm also in support of finding a, a place for the soccer players. Um, I know you're asking for the tennis courts. I think um, we could have, we could, in this park, we should be able to meet the needs of all the different sports and all the different ages. I was that um, I mentioned it at the last meeting, and I'm going to mention it again. The land um, that by the parking lot, by the main parking lot, um, I was under the impression that it was parkland. I've been told that it's not parkland, but I was I'm just going to throw that idea out there again. Maybe we could um, start calling our, our politicians to do pop a money to purchase that land so that we can expand the park and you, and you know over there we could do a basketball courts or a better um, skate park. As a soccer field, there's a lot of land there, you know, they could grade it. And I know it will take money, but there's money out there. And I think as a community, we just need to ask for it mm-hmm. and um, start calling the politicians and telling them to get the money, you know. Uh, now we're getting restrooms because the community got together and asked for them. We're getting more funding because the community has been asking for it. We've been asking for the clubhouse to be fixed, you know. Um, it looks like it's going to be um, torn down. I think we need to keep in mind the long-term goal that if it's going to be turned down, whatever they're going to put there temporarily, we really need another facility, another um, clubhouse. You know, two levels would be perfect. That way we could have classes, the adults, the children, everybody, and we're not invading the space of the senior center. The senior centers need their own space and their own activities. You know, we, need, we should be able to have a park. Um, I heard some of you say that this is a very large park. And yes, it's a large park, but at the same time, we're serving a community of 40,000 plus. If you think about it, Sereno, we have here the Sereno Rec Center, Trolls Hill Rec Center, Water Park, which is a satellite of this park. But other than that, you don't have another park. And there's a lot, while well, we have the Arroyo Playground that was just, you know, opened up, but there are no restrooms there, so some kids, you know, some of, some of our... Some of us don't go there because there's no restroom there. So I think we need to, um, I will encourage you guys to call your politicians and request for Prop A funds, which is, um, Prop A is one of the funds. Prop A can be Prop used K. to, uh, Prop A, sorry. Prop A can be used to acquire K. more parkland. So uh, I think if we go towards that, keep it in mind, and um, we'll be able to meet the needs. Uh, I'm sorry, um, you're, you're saying Prop A or K? K, K. K, K. K as in, yes. Okay, yeah. okay, I, I thought, sorry. A2 though, A, B, C, all those props. Everyone has the money. The more the better. I was also just talking to you. Thank 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 you. For years, I, I've been saying that this park doesn't really promote anything for soccer unless the soccer season for the park is happening here. Unfortunately, we do have a huge 
soccer following here in Encinal. And, and this is just maybe, I want to say maybe one twentieth of the kids who actually show up on Mondays and Fridays. And they are invading the tennis courts. Those tennis courts, uh, courts are actually for tennis. And I want these kids to have their own little mini soccer field. When I, when I was talking to these kids, their main concern with La Guardia was how far it was from safety. Mm -hmm. They feel unsafe going out there because at any time, any one of them could get injured. At any time, one of them, um, we, we might have some type of incident uh, that with, with, you know, maybe an outsider from the soccer community or it might go out there and we might have some issues where public safety might be a, a huge thing. Their main concern is why can't we have something for soccer here in this park? Why don't we? Why has it taken so long? Why are we still talking about it? These kids feel left out. We got a basketball gym. Now we're thinking about making another basketball court out there where we already have one out there. Baseball has their their their, their three beautiful uh, um, uh, fans out there. You know, everyone seems to have something except the soccer community. Every four years, the World Cup has the number one ratings for about a month. The number one sport in the Olympics is soccer. You know, and, and then these kids play soccer year-round. It's not season, it's year-round. Rain, snow, mud, uh, sun, doesn't matter. Soccer is a year-round sport. And this is the one part that unfortunately does have a soccer field, the Saturday La Guardia, but it's I, I don't want to say it's a, it's a it's a bad part for soccer, but it is. It really is. It really is a bad a bad part for soccer because it's more of a it, it's more of the, the 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 bastard child that everyone wants to ignore. Like no, you know what? We'll just leave. it's way over there. We bring you the restrooms open all night, and you know it, it's it, it's it, it's a part that should be fixed up for the community. It, it, it should be fixed up for the community. I, I do think that if we work on our Guardia soccer field, you know, it could be a great part. But then their concern is, why do we have to go all the way over there? Why can't we, why can't we be near our park director where there's all the lights and we know if we get injured, you know, our park director could go out there, call the ambulance, call the police real quick, you know, all our, our family who plays... Uh,